What is campaign tagging in Google Analytics and how do I do it? I'm Julie from Whole Whale and I'm going to show you. So let's dive in. Campaign tagging is a way for you to calculate the ROI, the return on investment, of your different marketing efforts. So it helps you see how much traffic different channels are driving to your site. And that helps you see whether they're worth the time and effort that you're spending in different marketing channels. By default, Google will tell you the sources of most traffic that's coming to your site. So you can see organic traffic, which means people coming from Google search results pages, for instance, or social media platforms like Facebook. Most of that's tracked by default. But if you want to do some advanced stuff, or if you're doing advertising or email campaigns, you'll want to set up custom campaign tags to make sure that you can see exactly which traffic is coming from where. You can think of campaign tagging kind of like tagging animals out in the wild. So it's like when a marine biologist puts sensors on an orca whale so they can track them from place to place. It helps you see where your users are coming from and then what they do on your site. When might you want to use campaign tagging? So here are a few examples. Number one, in email campaigns. This is really important because a lot of times email doesn't really get registered as a source in Google Analytics by default. So you want to make sure you're custom tagging any email link you're using. Especially for your welcome series, if you have a welcome series when people first join your newsletter list, you can set up campaign tagging one time and then you'll always be able to see when people are coming from that email series. Another big one is social media advertising. So when traffic comes from Facebook, you want to make sure you know whether that's an organic Facebook post that you're posting for free or whether it's ads that you're paying for. If you put campaign tagging on a Facebook ad, you'll know when someone's coming from that ad as opposed to a regular post. Another place you might want to use campaign tags is in digital print pieces. So a PDF you put somewhere or a press release you send out. This will help you see when traffic comes from those print pieces. A couple of things you really don't need to tag. Social media posts. So by default, Google tracks these. And unless you want really specific data about which posts are sending what amount of traffic, you really don't need to use campaign tagging for that. Also, Google AdWords. You can auto-link your Google AdWords account with your Google Analytics account, so you don't need to add campaign tagging to each individual ad you place. You'll automatically see it in your Google Analytics account. What do I have to actually do to set up campaign tagging? First, you start with your URL. You've decided which page of your site you want to send people to. That's your landing page. All you do is take that URL and you add a couple little pieces of code that will automatically send data into Google Analytics. You don't need to do anything within your Google Analytics account. It will just magically appear as long as you've set it up right. There are three main parts of a campaign tagged URL. It starts broad and each one gets a little bit more specific. The first one is the medium. These are like broad buckets that describe the type of traffic you're sending. So if it's a paid ad, you might use CPC, which stands for cost per click. You might use social for some kind of social post or email if it's email traffic. You want to keep these as broad as possible because then it will be easier in your Google Analytics reports to group like with like. The next one is source. This might be the easiest to come up with because you've already seen this in your Google Analytics reports. It's just a URL where that campaign tagged URL lives. So for a Facebook ad, this might be facebook.com. If it's a placement that doesn't really have a website associated with it, you could use something like press release or just some description of where that URL lives. Next up is campaign. This is the most specific of the three. This is the exact campaign that you're currently running. So let's say you have a Giving Tuesday campaign and you're running ads on Facebook and you're sending out emails and maybe some other channels. You could use Giving Tuesday or Giving Tuesday 2015 for your campaign tag across all those different URLs. One rule of thumb when you're coming up with your campaign name, most campaigns have a set start and end date. Those are the three tags you need for any campaign tagged URL. The medium, the source, and the campaign name. If we were running Facebook ads for our Giving Tuesday 2015 campaign, the source might be facebook.com, the medium would be CBC for paid ads, and the campaign name might be Giving Tuesday 2015. There are two additional tags you can use if you need them. 
So let's say you're running an ad campaign and you want to test two different versions of an ad. You need to have two different URLs to use in order to see them in different places in your Google Analytics reports. For those, you can use content and term. Content is typically used to describe the content that surrounds the link we're using. So let's say in our Giving Tuesday campaign, we have two images. One has someone in a purple shirt and one has someone in a green shirt. We might use purple shirt and green shirt for the ad content tags. This way we can see which one has better behavior when people click it and then come to the site. You can also use it to describe different types of links. So in your email, maybe when you embed hyperlinks in the text, those have one tag, and when you link images in your email, those have a different tag. Last but not least, term. Back when campaign tagging was really just used for AdWords or for other search ads, term referred to the keyword where the ad was placed. Nowadays, you can really just use it whenever you just need an extra level of granularity with your tags. So now that you've decided how you're going to name everything, how do you actually build the URL? How do you actually make a campaign tag URL? I promise you, you don't need to learn code to do this. Use Google's Campaign Builder. It's an awesome tool. You can just plug in the different source, medium, campaign name that you want to use along with the URL and it will spit out a perfectly tagged URL for you to use without ever having to touch any code. You should also keep track of all the different campaign tagged URLs you use. Put together a shared spreadsheet so everyone can be on the same page about which terms you're using where. Now you have a campaign tagged link. The power of tracking is in your hands. Make sure you use it for whatever email or ad that it was crafted for. In the next video, we'll talk about the other side of the equation, how to actually see this data in Google Analytics and how to draw conclusions about how your marketing efforts are doing. So stay tuned.